Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing what was supposed to be sort of like a Dollar Tree slash Buy Below haul because those are the two stores that I've been to lately but uh, just today I went to the mall and a couple of other places and I picked up things along the way so I'm just going to mush them off together and it's going to be a collective haul but I first wanted to show you my new postcard a project that I've been working on. I've been really into just clearing out my room of stuff and I have a long way to go obviously because I have a lot of stuff but as you can see my desk back there it's usually a mess it's pretty clear right now I even cleaned out inside the drawers and just get rid of things that I was not using in there um, and I just it's it's um when you open a drawer and you can't see anything it's really frustrating so you just close it and then you just end up throwing stuff in there so I just dumped everything out and put back the things that I really needed or I used on a daily basis and other things I just put it away um, and th threw most well I didn't throw most of it away but I threw the things that were just I wasn't ever going to use anyway so I've been doing that and I decided with my because I have a bunch of postcards from places that I visited friends send me postcards and I wanted to showcase them but I didn't want it to take up more room that I don't have so I decided to do that and I just used string and paper clips and it was very very easy so that's just an idea for you if you have postcards that you're not sure what to do with you could hang them up and you could do it different styles as well I just looked up uh, what to do with postcards and I got a couple of ideas and I decided to go with this one and um, you could really make it your own and I really like it so I hope you guys do too now on to the haul I Okay, so let me show you Dollar Tree. The first thing is, this is duct tape. You go in there, you come out with just really odds and ends and things you would never pick up. But this is duct tape, and I thought I could use it for planner, uh, for my planner. And I, when everybody started doing the planner thing on YouTube, I was just like, oh, here's another fad. But I, I guess everyone says this. I've we used a planner all the time before cell phones came about and now I do everything on the cell phone but I really do like the idea of writing stuff down and decorating your planner so I didn't want to go overboard um, so I got just a few things to uh, use for it. This is one of them but it's mainly just because it was so cute so I got that and then here is this is um a plastic container you get three for a dollar I thought that was a great deal these aren't the best quality but they're pretty good and I have a, I had a second set but I used it for my lipstick drawer already so I can't show you that and then so I thought sorry I feel like my Ava's gonna throw up or something do you see her she's acting kind of weird Ava you okay like she could talk back to me I wish she could okay so this is the first planner that I got and I thought it was going to be 2015 to 2016 kind of like an acad academic year but this is just 2016 and it's really simple which I kind of like that it's just this this is it um and because it didn't start until January, I was like, well, I really want to start planning now. So I'm going to do something else with it or give it to somebody who's going to use it for next year. But I got that at the dollar store. And um, it was just, I hadn't been to a dollar store in a long time. So I was perusing on the aisles, going up and down, just picking random stuff. But I feel like it's all stuff that I can use. Uh, then, you know what, before I get to five below, I'm going to show you clothes that I got today at Macy's. And this, usually I pre-film. Um, all my videos that you've seen are pre-film, but this one is, I'm doing this Wednesday. Oh, sorry, my eyelashes stuck together. I'm doing this Wednesday, and this is going to go up Friday, so it's pretty recent. Uh, so here are two shirts that I got. The first one is this bar three. Uh, shirt off from Macy's bar three uh, blouse and I love this color it's just such a beautiful mint green and I love how it's flowy and it's just a really cute blouse and then here is this Calvin Klein white uh, I would say t-shirt blouse because the back is kind of like that chiffon type material and then the front is cloth uh, but I, what I like about this shirt is that the sleeves are a little bit longer, which is what I prefer in my shirts. Um, I just like things that are just a little bit longer sleeves. And 
uh, before I used to be uh, averse to the three quarters sleeve shirts, uh, but now I really like those, so I got that. And then the last clothing piece is an item that I don't recommend people to buy things this way, but when I saw it, I fell in love with it and I needed to get it. It's gorgeous. It's a dress. It's a cocktail dress. It's really fancy and I'm definitely going to make myself wear it this year because it's just so beautiful. So here's the dress. It's by the brand or the designer Adriana, Adriana Papel. And it's this blouson, I think they call it, blouson B dress. And it is, I would say it's going to come to the knee, but I love the color. It's this really gorgeous blush color, very feminine, and the B detailing is gorgeous. Uh, I love the design on it. Here's the back. So it goes all the way around. And then just to show you the length, let me see how I'm going to do this. So, um... Sorry, terrible view, but the bottom, it's just the beadwork goes all the way down, and I just, it's beautiful. So, uh, when I saw it, I, these things don't come across that often in Macy's. I mean, I buy a lot of clothes at Macy's, but something that's really formal and just beautiful, and I couldn't say no. Let's start with some Five Below stuff, and the first thing is from my sister. She got me this birdcage hanger, which I think is really, really cute. You could put necklaces, scarves, whatever you like on here. And just, she has one too, so I think that's even cuter. We have the same thing. Uh, so I, I got that from Five Below. Then continuing on to the planner theme, this is six neon markers, which if you can see, it's dry erase markers, which I didn't realize, uh, but I'm sure I could use it for my planner. And I kind of like that the colors are really fun. And this isn't from the dollar store, but I don't think I ever hauled it. Uh, these are colorful style markers, but you can tell they're the gel kind. And I got these because I know a lot of planners, if you use really dark ink, it goes through the paper uh, or something that's really inky. Uh, so I wanted to get these instead of using something and then you can see it through the other side. Uh, the, the, the other side of the paper which really bugs me it's a really silly thing but hey okay. and then I got this cool notebook it's this bright pink but I like it because it has this folder on this the front page and you could just stick stuff in there and yeah I just wanted to get this notebook for my um for my job and then they had these I've been into not your mother's hair products which I gotta tell you, I used this hairspray for the first time. It's, she's a tease, and it leaves white flakes. So I think I'm done after this, after the, what I got here. I'm not going to try anymore. Uh, this is Not Your Mother's Smooth Moves First Control Hair Cream. And then this one is the Whip It Up Cream Styling Mousse. And I like these because these are kind of like travel size. Well, they are travel size. And... I thought this was a better way to go than trying the full size and not liking it, which I kind of wish I did it with this, uh, but they didn't have that one anyway. So I got these to try. Only really makeup related beauty item here. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I forgot to mention this when I was talking about the Macy's clothes because it was in the same mall. This is from J. Crew. It's the number 57 rollerball. Arquise for J. Crew, and I actually really like the way that this looks. I think it looks really classy, and um, it's a very strong scent, almost leaning on the masculine side, but it's perfect for, I know summer's not over, but this is going to be perfect for fall and winter. It's really rich, and normally I don't like those scents, but there's something about this one that I really liked, and so I got the Rollerball one. They do have a bigger size, but I'm sticking with Rollerballs. Um, unless I know it's a favorite favorite like the coach uh, signature perfume is my hands down favorite and I have a backup of that bottle because of that perfume because I love it so much okay and then the last thing is last couple things are from Target and I went there specifically to look for a planner because I remember they had some really cute stuff and I don't I don't really spend like 
I don't really feel like spending $30, $40 on a planner. So I wanted to get a nice one, but didn't want to spend that much. And well, this isn't a planner, but I decided to get this for my desk because I have just a metal folder from Ikea and I, I like it. It does what it's supposed to do, but I thought this would be much better for me and I could separate things like mail here, uh, paper, important papers, blah, blah, blah. So I got this and then for the planner, I did find a planner there. I was picking between, I really wanted just a monthly one, but those are very few and in between and the choices that Target had, I really wasn't into. Um, so I decided to get this med. Uh, it's the weekly monthly planner and I really like the gold and the pink together. And then let me just show you on the inside what it looks like. So you do get, um, <laughs> Sorry, I can't do this well. Okay, so here's the monthly, which I feel like it's really big and um, it's gold and white on the inside. And then for the weekly, it looks like this. I almost hit myself with it, but it looks like this in case I need more room. And I, I am excited. I have a bunch of stickers that I've never used in, I've, I collected stickers for a little while, um, but I can use it for this and I know people go all out and I don't plan to do that, but I do plan to use this and uh, put in when I have events and YouTube videos and things like that and my work I'm going to put in here. So I'm really excited to start using this planner. I wanted to get this video up so I could at least use, this starts from July to June, uh, it starts in July and ends in June of next year. I still have a few days left in August, so I'm gonna start filling this out, and I'm just excited. It's, um, it's. I know it's a big planner, but I kind of like that too. So that's the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was really random, just bits and pieces here and there, but I think this haul shows you what my mind's been on lately. I've been really focused on organizing and decluttering, and I feel like it's kind of counterproductive for me to clean out a bunch of stuff and then bring more stuff in. Uh, the things I'm trying to bring in are, you know, things that are really going to help me, and I've been even trying to improve uh, when I buy things that, um, I don't really know if I'm going to like it or not, like getting a travel size of these products. Uh, and today I went down I, oh, the makeup aisle of Wegmans and that was kind of hard for me to go down there and not get, grab anything. I did want to grab a few pieces, um, but I just didn't. So I think that's a sign of an improvement. And also as far as answering comments, I know I've been really, really bad at that. And part of it has to do with kind of social anxiety slash I have... Um, some things going on in my life, but hopefully I, I hope to get back on track with answering comics because that's a big part of YouTube interacting with the audience. And I really do appreciate you guys stopping by and watching my videos, even though I am the, probably the least articulate person I'm always jumbled up in here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are doing well and I will talk to you soon. Bye.